Chris, first of all, thanks so much for joining us. You're right. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Um, it's been a whirlwind 24 hours, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting used to it now. Are you getting used to it already? Because like you said, it has been a whirlwind. Your yeah. first TV title. Not just that, though, but the massive announcement this morning that you're in the Premier League as well. Yeah, it was a great, um, it was a nice phone call this morning to, to hear. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for everything that gets thrown at us. Um, playing well and just uh, my phone's not stopped this morning. So that's going to take a bit getting used to. But um, yeah, like I say, I'm ready for every challenge. I'm interested to know the nuts and bolts of this. When did you get the phone call saying you were in the Premier League? What time exactly, Chris? <laughs> um, Check your history. It was around, it was around about the, the 10 a.m. The 10 a.m. So it wasn't it wasn't too much like difference between announcing it and then obviously getting the phone call. So we we found out wow. about 20 minutes after you essentially. Yeah. When, when it go was was it Matt Porter? Yeah. Uh, right. Matt when it's ringing. What are you thinking at that point? <laughs> to be honest, uh, it was, I was kind of in this situation a few years ago um, when the contenders actually missed the call off. Um, I think it was either Matt or Barry. And uh, I was like, ringing them back to, to see if I'd done anything wrong. But it was obviously, it, I thought, what have I, what have I done? But um, no, nah, it, it, uh, it was a great call this morning. I, I was buzzing. And over the course of the weekend, was it on your mind at all? Because everyone was talking about it. I know you were asked many times, but now that you're there, you can tell us the truth. Was it on your mind at all? <laughs> no, honestly, it was it was the last thing on my mind. I knew, obviously, the last two years, Joe and Johnny are getting in by winning it. And um, I knew I was capable of winning it. It was just whether or not my performance would show. And um, obviously, once once I did win it, then I was I was hoping for that uh, that chance to to get the the Premier League and um, yeah you, you've got to take it when it when it's offered to you. And of course a, a fantastic weekend, but we spoke at the World Championships as well about little tweaks that you've made to your game because we all know that you've got the scoring power. But just tell us what you've been working on over recent months to take you to this next level. I'm um, just finishing. Um, I've been practicing obviously a lot on my from forty one up to a hundred and. And then just your one two ones in the practice room. You you play one two ones with the with the rest of the lads. And I think my finishing's sharpened up and my scoring's drifted a little bit. But uh, your scoring always comes good, and I'll I'll be working on that. That's for sure this week. Do you feel like over the past kind of few months that things have just slowly been kind of coming together? Yeah, I've I've put a lot more. Well, I say a lot more. I've put an extra few hours a day in on the practice board and my consistency is slightly coming back um not as quickly as what I would like it to be but um it's shown and not and it's shown on the big stage as well not just the floor and yeah I'm I'm delighted the the way things are going what messages have you had then you say your phone's been going all day I mean I assume you've had it from all the northeast lads whether it's yeah. Callan and Ryan and all that lot uh, anybody else? Any showbiz connections? <laughs> yeah, actually, I was surprised. Uh, I got a message from uh, Mark Selby this morning. Um, you, you, Joe Perry's and even John Harton, the footballer. And, hey, it, 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 I still haven't getting. Uh, there's still about sixty or seventy percent to go through. Uh, my phone's been so. Uh, it'll, it'll take us about a week to to go through the rest. But um, nah. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing seeing the other the other message. I think you've had one from Newcastle got, United, yeah, haven't Newcastle. You? Yeah, um, obviously that that's you, you kind of top that. Um, obviously supported them for all my life, and the the way things are at the club now, it, it's massive. And uh, just to just to have that little tweet off them, that means the world. What would you celebrate more if? If Newcastle win the league or that last night, what will mean the most? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, win, winning my title, it, it, it's a self. I've, I've worked so hard for this and um, they'll understand and you, you've got to put yourself forward before anything. And yeah, it'll be nice to, to see Newcastle uh, go on. Well, we've got a chance at silverware this this uh, week if we can get ourselves in there. Wembley again. I know Emma's a man. Don't uh, <laughs> worry, I'm nodding. I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Watch what I'm saying here. But, uh, <laughs> no, it'll be nice to pick up a little bit of silverware. 
Um, going to come back to Newcastle in a minute, but um, in, in terms of the Premier League, did you watch much of it last year and what did you make of the format and the kind of tournament style each week? Yeah, I, I play a local league on a Thursday night and it's always on the, the big screens um, each each pub we go into and yeah, they're all my mates at the end of the day. I like the, I like the watch to, to keep myself to see how, how they're playing and obviously the likes of Nathan who's in it this year Mike, Johnny, and Joe. I'm I'm close with all three of them. I, I spend a lot of time with them week in, week out, and it's just nice to to see them do well. And obviously, Joe was unlucky not to win it last year, and he pretty I bet he feels a bit of hot hard done by this year, not getting another chance. But um, he, he'll be back 100 percent, and yeah, it's it, it's nice to I like I like to watch. This this time of year when the Premier League gets picked, you've obviously over the years been sat back watching it all unfold mm-hmm. what's it like being bang in the middle of it because i would imagine for there'll be a million people out there going they've got this wrong they got this wrong they got this wrong he should be in he shouldn't be in you're slap bang in the middle of that i mean you want to talk you've got in so that you've done enough pal but it's it's a real old mess isn't it being in the middle of all this yeah it is obviously you get people saying he deserves it he doesn't but look Going off the last two years, um, the Masters champion got in and I've been playing well at the back end of the year. I've went deep in the last few majors. So I think I've I've put my name forward and obviously topping off yesterday with that win, I think uh, you could see I, I deserve to be, uh, be in the mix. And you said you watch it. People talk about how gruelling it can be. How do you feel you're going to handle that schedule? Um... It's new to me. Um, I'm, well, you can see I'm, I'm still a young lad. and um, Yeah, I'm just going to enjoy it. Obviously, I might never get this opportunity again. Um, so you you got to take it straight away. And I, I'm going to work hard and I'm going to put the time in. And who knows, I, I, I could go on to look, look at what Johnny Dunney won it. Joe lost in the final. And Glenn, Glenn Durant won it a few years ago. I've I've got to win it just just to get one back on there, uh, Glenn. So um, he hasn't he still hasn't shut up about that. But uh, no, it's uh, it's it's, it's going to be it's going to be new. But um, I'm I'm sure it'll, it'll not take too long to, to get used to. But if if you look at the last couple of years, you mentioned Joe and Johnny. Well, they were Masters winners, and they kind of used it as a bit of a springboard. Johnny going on to win it, and Joe, like you said before, just just being so close to winning it. Yeah, definitely. They, they they've put the the work in. Um, You've seen what Joe's done on the Euro to a Johnny uh, major champion. It, it can be done, so th- there's no ruling out why why I can't go on and do the same. It, it, it just takes time, and I'm I'm sure the new format will help me as well. Um, the, you you win one or two games a night. You're playing more and more, so hey, who knows? I'm 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 ready for it, and I I feel I can I, I feel I can go well in it. Are the Geordies going to be in the top four of the Premier League in the football and the darts this year? Without a doubt. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Without a doubt. Um, like It's a big week because, of course, you're making your Premier League debut. I know you've been in it before in terms of contenders' challenges, but a big, big week as well because it's deadline day on Tuesday. So, let's talk Newcastle. What do they need to do? What do you want them to do? Um, I still think we need... A striker, and I would love to see Madison uh, join. He's the type of attacking midfield I would would be missing. And hey, you can you kind of knock knock the way Eddie Howe's like managed the the team this year and brought the players in that he wants. And he's not spent silly like the the likes of Chelsea's and stuff. So it is going reasonable, and he's doing it the right way. So. Leave it down to him, and I'll, I'll be happy. Whatever, whatever. I, I had a feeling you were going to say James Madison. I th- did you? Did you, you tweeted him the other day, didn't you? I did. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> just that, um, I, I know he likes his, his darts and that, and um, obviously there, there was big, big talks of Newcastle being interested to put a few bids in here and there. But you, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. But um, I'm sure he, he would probably love. He would probably love to to join Newcastle, the way the club's going forward as well. And hey, who knows, um, if he does come, 
it'll be a great signing. I love, I love how Chris is like, yeah, you don't know what happens behind closed doors. So you really thought your tweet was just going to like push him over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, 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 never you were like, you know what? Yeah, that will Look, do Maddis, it. That I can get it. you tickets for every Premier <laughs> yeah. League night, all right? Yeah, any <laughs> Premier League night. <laughs> Final, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, just give us a bit of an idea in terms of, I'm not saying you kind of have massive aims now when you've obviously just heard today the news, but what, starting off this week in Belfast, what are your kind of early kind of personal ambitions and, and targets for the Premier League? Um, I'm, I'm just going to take a week by week. Um, obviously, it's new. So, and I've beat, I've beaten all, all the lads in the Premier League before. We, we can all beat each other. So, it's just whatever happens on the night. Um, I, I'm going to go in fresh and, and the same as I go in every tournament. So, I'll just be looking forward to it, um, enjoy it. And uh, like I said, hopefully my form continues. Yeah. Where, where's the trophy? It's downstairs, in, it the, downstairs? In, the living, in the living room. So. Oh, yeah. good. Have you shown your dad yet? No, I haven't seen him. He's too hungry. He's too hungry. He's always working. So uh, I'll probably not see him until next week. Ah, oh, <laughs> stop. But I know, um, obviously, you, you spoke to Dan on the stage last night about what that win means for your sort of family and, and close friends. Yeah. But I imagine today, after that announcement about the Premier League, I mean, they just must be so proud of you. Yeah, like I said, uh, obviously my, my my dad and that rang us this morning. He was absolutely over the moon, and you had my aunties, and I've got I've got such a big family, and even like family friends as well. They're they're all like a big family, and the group messages, and there's so much. I still haven't I still haven't been through them all, but it means just as much to them as it what it means to me. They 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 follow us. And supporters everywhere I go, so that one was wasn't just for me; it was for them. Well, hopefully more to come in 2023, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us. Lovely to speak Thank to you. Very you. Much. Massive congrats it's been a again. Pleasure. Thank you. We'll see you in Belfast. You sure will. <laughs> <Take care. laughs>